Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Boost versus Boost Flow, I'm going to tell you about all of the differences between Boost and Boost Flow and how you can best employ them. First, I want to cover some of the basic differences between Boost and Boost Flow. First of all, the basic functions are different. You should Think about Boost and Boost Flow as separate, if related, features. They can, however, work together, and that's important to understand as well. Boost works retroactively. What that means is it's going to go back, read the text that you've written, and it will take certain information about that text, like how often you use the dictionary entries, and it will compare the text that you've written with the audio that it hears for that time code. If it's sure that you've made an error, it will insert the correct text or the missing text for you. This happens automatically unless you have Boost set to On Demand. If you're using Boost On Demand, you can use a stroke defined as open curly bracket, capital AIB, close curly bracket, to induce Boost when you need a little help. If someone says something that you know you're not going to be able to stroke out, you can instead hit your AIB stroke and Boost will come in and help you in that space and that space only. Boost will flag any of the corrections that it makes as user text eight. This means that you can change the user eight color to see all of the Boost changes. In comparison to this, Boost Flow works proactively. It works a lot like predictive text. If you're writing an email in something like Gmail, it will often offer predictive text completions for you and you can hit a stroke on your keyboard like tab in order to accept those suggestions. Boost Flow works the same way. However, unlike Google, which simply uses an algorithm to suggest that you might want to continue wishing someone a good day in an email, Boost Flow actually listens to the audio and processes it live. It then gives you that processed audio from either Boost or Speechmatics and allows you to accept it. And you can accept the words one at a time, two at a time, three at a time, or all at a time. You can set up your own customized Boost Flow commands to manage Boost Flow input according to your own specifications. You can accept some words, continue writing on your steno machine, or speaking into your voice mask, and then continue accepting strokes from Boost Flow again. As the court reporter, you have complete control over how much text from Boost Flow you accept or reject, and you'll know right away if that text is correct because you're the one deciding. There are strokes to accept text, strokes to reject text, and when you're working with Boost Flow, you always have the option to just write or utter like normally, and that's what will take over. If you don't use any of the predictive text from Boost Flow, it'll simply be ignored and stored. Boost Flow text, when you accept it, is flagged as user text 7. This way you can quickly see as you're editing your document which words you've accepted from Boost Flow and which words you've written on your steno machine or uttered with your voice mask. Next, let's talk speech engines. Google Speech and Speechmatics both work with Boost or Boost Flow. When you purchase minutes from Advantage, you can use those minutes for either Google or Speechmatics. When you're in Eclipse, simply choose the engine you'd like to use and then get started. It's important to keep in mind, however, that there are some limitations with each speech engine. For instance, Google Speech requires internet. And although Speechmatics does not, it does require that you purchase a configured computer from us, either in the form of a laptop or a boost box. And that will allow you to run Speechmatics. Since Google Speech runs on the internet, it doesn't have the same kinds of requirements of Speechmatics and doesn't require special hardware. However, since it runs on the internet, you always have to be connected to the internet in order to use it. Speechmatics requires no internet connection and allows a court reporter to go wherever they're needed. 
Google Speech works with either Opus or PCM at 16.00 kilohertz, 16 bit, and Speechmatix only works with PCM 1616. If you try to start a job using Boost or Boost Flow in Eclipse 11 using the wrong audio settings, Eclipse will warn you. So you know that that's a problem that you need to solve right away. A last and incredibly important consideration when working with Boost Flow or Boost is your audio quality. If you don't have good audio, you're not going to get good speech results. Garbage in, garbage out is a mantra that we live by when we're working with speech recognition. And this goes back to using Vox with Dragon. Additionally, consider, just because you can hear your audio does not mean that Google or Speechmatix will be able to process it. The human ear and the human brain can process and understand things contextually in a way that AI cannot. Your best bet for success with Boost Flow and Boost is quality audio. If you're only using your laptop microphone, which is facing you, the court reporter, instead of the people that you're trying to process the audio for, you're not going to get as good results as someone who maybe has a couple boundary mics out in their environment. Consider upgrading your audio equipment, or if you have some laying in the closet that you never got to use, it's time to whip it out. Call tech support if you need help, and we'd be happy to help you get your audio configured for use with Boost and Boost Flow. Don't forget that Advantage software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.